good morning and welcome back to another video today we put it to you where should we ride the choice was belmont hill in bristol we'll watch it and 71 percent 71 percent 71 percent of you said watch it so we're off to watch it today there's a big climb to rainy cross yeah big climb big climb so we've got a big climb today um other than that we're going down to the coast to see if we can find an ice cream but thank you very much for voting because that's what i wanted to do <laughs> Secretly me too, but I've never cycled that way before, so... No, I hadn't cycled either route, so maybe one day we'll still do the Belmont ride. But not today. <laughs> right, so we've made it through the madness that is Bridgewater. And we're now in Cannington. Heading out towards Watch It. It's a bit windy. It's, a bit, it's bloody windy. It was chilly first thing, but I've started to warm up now. I've been pedalling. Looking forward to this. Yeah, this is going to be good. Never stuck in this direction before. There's some big climbs today. Yeah. Oh, yes. We'll have to introduce you to Pete's jazzy socks. Make out all the donuts and cakes on his socks. <laughs> but they are proper mad. I love them. Watch it. Watch it. Be Watch careful, it. careful, careful. <laughs> Ice cream and coffee. And a pasty. What a pasty, didn't he? Did pasty. We arrived in Watch It. We've done 38k, about 400 meters of climbing. It's not been too bad. We had to main road it a bit on the A39. And got a bit of abuse from some drivers, but other than that, not too bad at all. Nice route. Some lovely views of the coast, which I hope came out on camera. Um, and now we're at the marina. So, food. Yes, please. Food. You know, we had my birthday last week. Yep. Well, I had the realisation when I was sat on the sofa watching telly and this uh, famous advert comes on and Deb goes, oh, do you want to keep me the number? It's Sun Life Over 50's plan. <laughs> I always thought that was old people. Guess what turned up on my door set yesterday for the post? Um, Sun Life Over 50's plan. They actually sent me a letter yesterday. How old am I? <laughs> you know you're old when you think those, those adverts are for old people and then you start getting targeted through marketing. You're getting on a bit now. <laughs> You sure it wasn't Saga? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be next, I think. <laughs> what have you got, Pete? It's just bacon and onion. There's no burger in there or anything. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> I don't know if we've deserved this. 40k? Right, because there is a, a one-way system for the COVID-19 in Watch It, we end up going up a hill that we didn't need to go up, which is about 10%. And um, we're trying to find our way back on route now to get back to uh, where we should be. We're heading back to the main roundabout and then we're going to go up the road that they used in the milk race. So a brief stint on the A39 to get back to where we should be. Yep, yeah, nice tailwind. And a lovely sign back there said 70% for the next two miles, Pete. <laughs> so this is uh, part, was part of the milk race. Um, from the 1950s until the 90s. They used to race up here. Um, so we're not sure whether it's Rayleigh's Cross or Rally's Cross. Yeah, we're not sure. We would say comment below, but it sounds the same when you type it, doesn't it? Um, yeah. I think it's Ray, I think I've heard Rayleigh's Cross. Yeah, my dad says Rally, Rally's Cross, so. Yeah, but in know. Rally Cross, something they do in cars. <laughs> yeah, let's well, hope it's not dirt <laughs> up there. <laughs> oh. But yeah, it should be a really nice climb. Climbs up to nearly 400 meters. The 
I'm starting to enjoy this climb. It was uh, all downhill after we spoke to you last, but we finally hit the ramps, 14%. Ooh. And the sun's out now at last, so it's definitely warming up. It's actually descended another 50 meters of uh, valuable elevation we gained. We've got to go up to 380. We're currently 195 and the sign has just kicked in. So here it goes. Just come out of the trees, we've got about 50 meters more to do. We don't know how far it is. What a stunning climb. Uh, Pete was just saying, Grace is his new favorite climb. The scenery is stunning. Nice long steady climb, a couple of steep pitches. What a climb. Enjoy that, Pete. Oh, stunning. Definitely my favorite climb in Somerset. So we're right at the top now of Raleigh's Cross, Raleigh's Cross. Um, the pub behind me is uh, the last pit stop on day three of the Tour of Wessex, for those who've ever done that ride. Um, very, very welcome indeed it is. What a view that is. Can't be anywhere in the world right now, can we? views on this ride are absolutely stunning. Not not those views. <laughs> a bit odd looking locals, but no, they are. Every, everywhere you look, every every corner you go around, there's just another stunning view either of the Quantocks, the coast, the valleys. Just unbelievable riding around here. You're probably sick of me up there just saying, I was saying how much of a good time I was having, like on every corner. I'm, I am exactly the same. I mean, that, that climb was stunning. That descent down from Raleigh's Cross, Raleigh's Cross. The one from the pub, that, that was just, could have been a little bit uh, smoother. You could have let the bike go a bit, but what a descent that was. Some such stunning views. Glorious. <laughs> <laughs> That's a word I've not used for a while. No, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Crocombe? No, thank you. <laughs> not today. I promise you we will do Crocombe. Just not today. Maybe next month. Darren and I will be brave enough to go and do it. Darren's just let me know I got <laughs> I got bird poo on my glasses. I'm sorry. And we just crossed over the bottom of the Cothelstone Hill climb. There's a 99 ice cream up there. <laughs> we are debating it, aren't we? But big hill, ice cream. Carry on going. Hmm. Take our chances, we'll carry on going. <laughs> <laughs> right, we just stopped in Kingston St Mary for a, a bite to eat, a little rest, and uh, I think we'll take the chance to show you Peter's socks a bit, a little bit close up. These socks and... Well, I was a bit jealous. You had jazzy socks week after week after <laughs> week, and I was just wearing black socks, so I went and bought these. Look at them beasts. Donuts. Love them. Krispy Kremes. <laughs> <laughs> I could, I could devour a Krispy Kreme right now. Yeah. We're going to North Peloton, skirting up the edge of the Quantox and down along the bike path into Bridgewater, and then back through Chedzor. Cool. Sounds easy, but this is quite steep. What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, we love a climb. Right, we want to 
give a quick shout out to Pete Barker who does always like and comment on the videos and he does actually replicate the rides. So we're looking forward to you Pete having to go at this one and let us know what you think of the views because they have been stunning all day. If you want to ride with views this is the one 1300 meters of climbing but well well worth it. Yeah it's so nice to see someone replicating the routes that we've done and loving them as much as we had so yeah I hope you enjoyed today's route. It's no Mr. Whippy. It's next best. Good. So, thank you for watching. Um, we had a great ride today. Thank you for voting, whoever voted for Watch It. And we will see you again very, very shortly. I think we're doing a gravel ride on Sunday into the Quantox. Be my first time adventure riding on a gravel, and we're going to see how good this bike is on gravel. I can't wait. It's going to be so good. So, <laughs> so, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you again very, very soon.